Rishabh Thai, good to have you with us. How have you been? Doing well. How are you? Doing well, Rajat. It's been a long time. You know, I mean, uh, you know, we were talking about this, right? We've been we've been wanting to talk for many, many, uh, you know, across many, many occasions, and unfortunately, it hasn't come through. And I'm so happy that you know, finally talking, right? Um, and I think uh, more importantly, it becomes a very pertinent conversation, right? Especially with what we've been through, uh, you know, around COVID in COVID, I mean, we're still not through with that. But um, I think there is a huge renewed sensitivity which is there around healthcare, right? And I think it's become a priority at every level, at a family level, at an individual level. And I think more importantly, uh, you know, the way government is looking at it, the way businesses are looking at it, I think, I think it's it's there's so much more uh, seriousness around the entire conversation that makes our conversation very important and interesting today. Sounds good. Uh, things have changed. Uh, I think for from a health tech perspective, right, uh, a lot of things have changed in a very very positive directions. Things that we were thinking like will take five years to 10 years to get to. Right. Uh, the behaviors are already here. Right. So yeah, things have changed and uh, perception has changed. So uh, we are looking forward to what's in store. Interesting. You know, Raja, before we dive into the conversation, right? I mean, you're some, doing some amazing, great work at My Upchara. It's been done for a Bharat audience, right? Which makes it very, yeah. very important. And I mean, that's a, that's a category which has been the most underserved, right? And you know, and, and you've brought in content and you've brought in, you know, with, with at least a focus and awareness, right? That it becomes a good reference point for them to start on something, right? Uh, but before we before we start discussing about Mayopchar and all the great work that you've been doing at Mayopchar, uh, right? What I would, I, I'd love you to take us through your background. I mean, you've been, you've been uh, in, in, in many ways, right? But I think a quick round of introduction is going to be helpful and, and, and from there we take it off. Definitely, definitely. So, you know, uh... My background, I've been uh, I, an engineer from right. DC and uh, now DTU, which we don't like to call it that way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, then Stanford, then worked at Amazon uh, initially as in engineering, then product manager, then um, in the affiliate marketing department, um, then moving to a startup in US itself, heading right. their online marketing, then general manager, one of the divisions. Um, Moving back to India in 2011, starting right. a company in, uh, called Social Apps HQ, which was basically made, making these apps that you could customize to run their own uh, to run their own campaign. And at that time, right. it, it was a huge fad to do that. Uh, you know, everyone was on Facebook trying to run campaigns, and right. Facebook was growing very very fast. And um, so we did that for three four years, uh, made a decent uh, revenue. It was a SaaS company before it was fashion to call SaaS. Like, I don't think there was a nomenclature calling uh, SaaS uh, calling companies as SaaS, but we were doing that at that time. Uh, 2014, we sold that particular company. Uh, it was under NDA, so never announced that. Right. Uh, but got some money. So best way to burn a money is to, you know, start an e-commerce <laughs> venture. So right. we started a. Uh, venture called Shimply uh, right. with a, you know, with a focus on selling authentic Indian products, and we were right. selling it in, in India as as well as internationally. Right. Um, and during that journey, we converted the site into Hindi, mm -hmm. uh, trying to figure out if there is demand in tier two, tier three for the authentic Indian products. Right. Um, so, uh, interestingly, fifty percent of our business became Ayurveda after that. Right. Right. And th that is not what we were expecting. But when we dug into it, what we realized that there's just no healthcare content in Indian languages. Right. Um, so Manoj, who is my co-founder at MyFchar, he had also returned from US. We right. were at Stanford together. Mm -hmm. uh, he was doing his PhD, then he was at Gates Foundation, BCG, et cetera. Right. So we started talking about this phenomenon. And what we realized is that, you know, if you go to, uh, you go and search for cancer Kailaj, and th this is true even today. Right. And you will find sites like Arch Tuck, NBT, et cetera, pop up with results claiming, uh, juice pee ho or cancer petalis do, din mein do right. ho jayega. Right. And doctor ka dawa no din mein cancer chhu And right. all kind of crappish content. Right. And we felt, you know, that, the, um, that somebody has to really create high quality health content for India. Right. And, if in countries like US, UK, where you have NHS, um, Healthline, Mayo, right. WebMD, 
mm-hmm. creating quality content and getting 100 200 million visitors a month mm-hmm. you would expect that if you create similar quality content in india um you know you will get similar levels of traffic given the awareness and access are not there right so we started with that simple mission we never looked into cost of content creation we never looked right. in looked into you know 500 word character limit uh, right. content none of that we said if you want to write about diabetes let's do a write a phd of let's do an encyclopedia of diabetes right, right. it take 5 days 10 days whatever it takes right um and uh, we were able to align uh, ourselves with top hospitals top doctors right. who wanted to you know really spread the information across india versus just in limited set of india right, right. Uh, and that helped us you know get to like four years on four and a half years on we do 50 million visitors a month now right uh, 20 million on our website 30 million on our youtube channel facebook right. video content etc um and it's all tier 2 tier 3 bharat right, right. um whether tier 4 is also small because the mobile adoption is still limited there right. but i think that could, that's going to be another 50 million people coming on board uh, right. in next, uh, on my chart coming on board in next couple of years right um so uh, yeah and i, I think uh, it's been fairly rewarding from that perspective like we actually see people coming from literally very very remote areas right um and when we look at consultation content um and people submit their videos we see you know uh mitti ke ghar and uh, bhusa ki chapri right. and all kinds right. of houses in the background right um and people are from there are talking to the top doctors of india on our platform right. so that has been fairly rewarding uh, the numbers have been st- staggering we are right. the largest health website in india um we are not that known because right. tier 2 tier 3 <laughs> yeah. but uh, you know the volumes are there right so i think that's that's amazing rajat i mean I, and i think you know you started it when i think there was the entire narrative around bharat wasn't really sort of wasn't no, visible, right? i mean nobody was talking about it right and you kind of started there was it more a hunt was it more observational was it instinct or was it a calibrated call saying that you know this is visible some factors that move this is an audience which will possibly come in right i mean or was it a combination of all of this right uh what made was you, what made you do this so you know when we think about it uh, at that time it was uh, late 2016 right and shrid chat had just launched and right. uh, you know there was nobody else literally right. pratilipi had just launched right um so there were literally no one else um and we will walk into angel investor meetings and uh, talk about this and they're like you can't do that what this <laughs> no and i think and it wasn't glamorous it was it wasn't glamorous and we just felt that we have to do it right and uh, you know we uh, i remember speaking to rajan and rajan said you know i i believe in your story but it right. will be 2025 before you make any money Right. Uh, <laughs> and we were like okay so it's, it's going to be a long journey and it's clear from get go uh because you know ability to pay pay is not there etc cetera, etc cetera. Right. and the most uh, interesting questions we were asked was you know even if people ca- are from there come online the first right. thing they're going to do is watch porn right right <laughs> then utilities then right. maybe some serious content like healthcare right um so is this the even the right time right. are there enough people online so what we did was we basically looked at all these newspapers regional right. newspapers and how much traffic they are getting right. and we were able to point out this tamil newspaper has 20 million users and right this uh, west bengal bengali newspaper has 5 million people and we were able to show there like 88 million people regional who are online consuming some kind of content um on these websites right. um so it was a bit of a journey uh, there was no proof point uh, and it's true today right so most of the uh, f- funding that's happening in tier 2 tier 3 is absolutely on mao dao basis right. uh, nobody has made any monetization on that right. and whatever little has been on you know zomato swiggy platform funding their drivers in some way or form Right. so when we are monetizing this tier 2 tier 3 base 
they are kind of the first one actually uh, figuring out, getting down what works for them, what are they willing to pay for. Because right. behavior there is very different, right? So um, I spent roughly six to eight months in Eastern UP belt uh, right. trying to understand what will they pay for. We ran a lot of health camps at village level. Uh, we ran, um, uh, we actually established a pathology lab in Lucknow or ran, uh, set up correction centers in uh, a lot of these smaller areas to figure out what will work. Right. And went through a lot of learning, uh, you know, heartaches, failures, et right. cetera, to understand where we can actually make an impact and profitably, and that too profitably, not like just uh, make something happen and increase the top line, but also something that makes makes sense. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's a hard market, uh, but, uh, I believe that's where you know entrepreneurs need to work if they actually want to make good use of their time. Right. No, I think you know, I, and I'm not going to deny this, right? But honestly, you know, my sense is also when you know, uh, I think when you talk about Bharat, right? I think the first layer of adoption is essentially going to come from entertainment content, right? Where you know it's going to be it's going to be jokes, it's going to be fun, it's going to be short videos, reels today, for example. And I think they are getting getting exposed, right? But I think that also brings in a certain sense of comfort because you know this is not content which is asking them to pay up or whatever, right? I think, I think, and it's also important for, as a foundation, for more serious content to get consumed, I think. And I think they, in the process, start to discover, you know, what are the other permutation combinations of possibilities, right? And I think that's also a very critical, uh, like, well, I have, in fact, you know, I, I'd love to dissect Bharat with you, right? I think, I think you know, uh, not a lot of startups which aspire to cater to, for example, Bharat, right, will understand the nuances of Bharat the way possibly you will do because, you know, you are, um, dealing with them on very critical issues, right? Uh, there is a certain behavioral understanding that you have at my Myopta, right? So I'd love to cut it, uh, uh, you know, cut deeper into that, right? Uh, you know, through the course. But before that, I have, uh, uh, you know, a question which is on the construct of my Myopta, right? So what's the core construct of my Myopta, right? I mean, uh, you know, you started from content, there's consultation available, but what's the, what's, uh, what's the current construct? Take me to the user journey, right, on the platform. Uh, so people come to my chair to consume healthcare content. Okay. Once they consume the healthcare content, they want to connect with doctors right. uh, to consult. Mm -hmm. um, right now, the consultation is kept as freemium. So okay. user cannot choose whether they want to do free or not. We choose right. whether they can do free consult or not. So we, okay. uh, we reward a free consultation to users belong to, to a certain disease groups. Right. Um, so once, uh, so that's the main user flow on the platform. Mm -hmm. They, once they get the consultation, uh, they have an option to get prescription fulfillment done from us or mm -hmm. from a local chemist, whatever right. works for them. Mm -hmm. um, and we even connect them with the local chemist. We have around 5,000 chemists that we have partnered with where right. the prescription directly flows to them. If the pin code, they fall in that particular pin code. Right. Um, and these guys can then take the medicines from the chemist or wherever locally they want to. Mm -hmm. So that's the basic flow on the platform. Now, right. there have been a lot of learning around that. So one, what we found was, um, how do we make money on this, right, at a large level? So consultation remains at a very, very small price point. So you can't right. have, uh, you, it has to be purely online transaction. Mm -hmm. And these set of people require an assisted telesale model. Right. Um, they don't do well with uh, come online and just pay on their own kind right. of model. Uh, so we basically uh, initially kept the consultation completely free and tried to do medicine fulfillment and make money on that. Um, and we did a deeper partnership with a lot of pharmaceutical companies so that we can get higher margin. Right. Um, the challenge there was that 60% of the consultation was acute. Mm -hmm. And because of acute, you cannot really uh, easily ship the medicines from anywhere in India to Lakhimpur and West Champaran and all Assam and all these areas um, uh, within like 30 minutes or a one hour kind of a time. So it's right. going to take five to seven days. Right. So we felt that, you know, uh, solving for acute is not right. You provide them the right knowledge, you provide them the prescription with the salt level information written in it. Right. so that they can just go to the chemist and get any brand for that salt and get cured, right? Uh, but on the 
mid term care and long term care uh, products like you know hair fall skin issues right. etc etc um, people can wait for 5 to 7 days mm-hmm. so our focus is on that where we provide complete treatment packages to our customer right. and get them to you know actually show impact and see improvement track improvement as to how um, you know their situation has improved their issue has been resolved or not so that's the journey there the other learning we had was um, a lot of these people will call us and say um, that sir yahan par to doctor hai nahi or situation ye problem hai and our doctors are telling them ki you have to go to a physical clinic so kids hospital mein jaye and will be like aapke paas insurance kaun si hai So ninety-five percent, ninety-nine percent people will say we don't have any insurance. Right. Um, and then we we try to understand what they use experiences. Mm-hmm. So they'll go to a city in case situation worsens. Right. Now, uh, the moment they uh, you know get down from a bus or a train, there are uh, quacks all across, or right. not quacks, agents all across. Right. Who will take them to a hospital? Mm-hmm. uh based on the commission they are getting from that particular hospital right. and these are rickshaw walas these are auto walas these are even the chai walas and all right. these guys everybody has a commission set which is right. fairly amazing to me mm-hmm. uh, about this entire economy right uh, and uh, they get screwed over uh, again and again and again and they know that if they go to the city they'll get screwed over but right. they just don't have an option right so what we have now done is come just launched a product where they can buy a health insurance from us plus mm-hmm. tele opd combined in one which is called bima plus mm-hmm. what it will allow is uh, get uh, you know cash free uh, treatment at around 7000 hospitals in india okay so when they go to the city they know which three hospitals are available for them where they can get cash free uh, treatment right. and that is a major change from all the hassles that they have to go to and they get immediate value in terms of tele opd So right. that's prim- primarily the use journey on the planet very interesting you know i'm going to i'm going to talk to you about the insurance and the bima plus uh, play right i think there's there's a there's, i mean that's personally of a lot of interest to me i mean there is there's so much work which is happening and it's a, it's a massively underserved category and i think i think post covid uh, you know i think there's clearly a very renewed uh, you know realization right in terms of uh, taking care of people right and insurance becomes a very critical mechanic to sort of do that right uh, but before i do that rajat uh, you know what's the what's the traffic landscape like right uh, i mean you're doing a uh, you know 50 million uh, uh, you know views a month right uh, what's the what's the uh, which are the states which are contributing uh, highest in some in terms of traffic right and which are say some of those key spots that you were amazed to see that you know and they are kind of contributing to that to the traffic right uh, uh, it'll be lovely to know some of that so you know uh, up Uh, so we get a lot of traffic from northern belt okay. uh, hindi belt right so up bihar charkhand um rajasthan madhya pradesh all of these are like right. top states for us mm-hmm. but in terms of when you look at conversion rates right. the conver- conversion rates are higher in himachal and uttarakhand um and assam and all these areas compared to these states right so Uh, which kind of shows the lack of access issue being more there plus mm-hmm. uh, people are more amenable to paying for it right. uh, so i think there is a little bit of more uh, trust issue mm-hmm. uh, in the society especially in the up bihar belt mm-hmm. where people don't trust uh, people other people easily right. and that's why the conversion rates are a little lower right um when we look at our traffic you know 30% is tier 2 50% is tier 3 right and 10% comes from tier 1 uh, delhi and tier 1 each tier 1 and tier 4 each right. so um when we look at even 30% tier 2 right so we looked at our data and we said lucknow is the largest city for us and we get like you know uh, around uh 10 lakh people from that particular city alone right and we said yeah that's like 15% of the population of that particular city how can that be right right that doesn't make any sense right 
so we uh, what we did was we did a campaign on our app there mm-hmm. because there you can get much more specific data and it right. seems like ga uh, google analytics doesn't have uh, the uh, the way ip blocks are mapped right. they don't have more distributed data on it so right. they just uh, group everything in eastern up right um, majorly in uh, <laughs> lucknow right uh, and then we went into our uh, app data and we found right you know all these small clusters bahraich and this and that uh, and village level traffic actually originating from there right. so uh, i would not i think uh, what our data says is that you know 50% tier 3 30% tier 2 10% right. tier 4 but i think it's much more deeper now um, and it's just the reporting issue as to why we are not able to capture that so i think that that's what's happening on the platform Very interesting. You know, Rajat, I'm loving every bit of this conversation, right? I mean, the fact that we're discussing a Bairaj, right? Would have thought, uh, you know, I at least have done at least a like hundred plus conversations, right? And I've not discussed, uh, you know, none of my conversations have been at that level, right? And I'm like I said, right? I'm loving this conversation for that reason because you know it's a very different uh, uh, discussion that we're doing. Prab, uh, what is leading into this discovery, right? I mean, uh, you know, is this organic? Is this something that they're discovering by themselves? is this a reference play which is kind of building up are you calibrating your distribution uh, tell me a little more about that i mean how is that essentially happening right is this uh, or uh, you know there are there are certain ways it's it's kind of happening where you are amazed that you know what's happening in that in that area right i mean how are people discovering us right uh, how is it's, that it's it's all organic so we are, we have always been fairly impressed or surprised Uh, from day one in terms of demand like we literally went from zero to a million uh, in first uh, six months right. and uh, you know for any new website to get to a million it takes three four years given my pre- uh, prior experience right. uh, and it's just there's just huge demand there's nothing there so the challenge in the point uh, the opportunity is to really focus and deliver content in the regional languages the also taking care of the regional preferences so you know if you're talking about uh, stuff like uh, dengue right. uh, then you have to talk about papita ka beej right um, and other indian homegrown solutions so th- i think that has also worked for us so we haven't really stuck with uh, you know allopathic thought process we have gone with home remedies we have gone with ayurveda we have gone with even uh, um other other treatment options that are there we been working on siddha we have been working on other op- all the other options homeopathy other options right. uh, just to you know make sure that um people are covered in different formats right so uh, because if you look at user busy user journey in terms of how they uh, take healthcare treatment Right. The first twenty-four to forty-eight hours, they're doing home remedies anyway. Right. After forty-eight hours, if it's not uh, correcting, then they go right. to the doctor. Right. Um, and they take that medicine. And if three to five days later it's still not correcting, then they are going to the traveling to the city. Right. Um, and going to the hospital, getting proper medication and all that. Um, and what we are seeing on our platform is that people are coming on like after first hour and looking for that home remedy solution. right um because somebody told them and they want to verify that fact right uh, then they want to you know for the period of that one week or two week they will come again and again right. so our f- repeat rate for the uh, within the same month is almost 40% right um uh, but when you look at cohort over next three months it's not that high so when we try to understand that behavior what we realize is that people are like ab bimar nahi ab kyun hai ah, so right. <laughs> so right. we can't force them to be bimar all the time right so um so it's a, it's a uniqueness of the platform they come back again when people when they are ill but they are not coming back on a daily basis but for that period when they are sick they'll come again and again and again uh, i think to is, consume the product which is i think the nature of the business i mean i think and i think yeah. these are these are factors that you have to you know take into consideration when you're building something i mean you can't yeah. really put somebody to come in and you know be part of the ecosystem right because then the expectations kind of changes right like the matrix of engagement also sort of sort of differs right uh right i would want to cut the entire bharat space in a in a certain common way right uh now when we talk of and you know this is something that you know across many conversations we've done it in the e-commerce context and you know on a consumption context right which is more driven by disposable income right 
uh, is that uh, you know while there is aspiration and i think covid has kind of fast tracked that aspiration right uh, unfortunately bharat is 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 a region which you know is uh, the largest of all problems is a low saving space right uh, or low earning space right uh, which essentially means that they while there is aspiration on one hand it's a deferred demand right uh, which is not necessarily getting distracted by like i think because age sort of plays in that in that uh, in that context right uh, is that correct in the healthcare environment as well right i mean do you see and and like you mentioned right uh, uh, and i think i will have a follow up question on this as well right uh, but do you think a low savings rate uh, or a bandwidth has a very significant effect on the treatment that people choose for or they and and they continue to sort of defer it by by like you said right trying home remedies trying to see you know can it get rectified or not and and you know is that is that uh, a problem that you see which could also mean that uh, you know institutionalized of healthcare could possibly take a lot more time than what we anticipate um so it's it's clearly there so i'll look i'll answer it in two different ways sure um so you know the biggest problem or feedback we got from our doctors is ki right. ye patient to 100 200 rupaye se upar ki dawai le gaye nahi right right uh but still over time our aov um on the prescription fulfillment has gone from 100 rupees to 500 rupees to 2000 rupees today right right uh, and what happens is when you look at our your customer base 90% people are in 5 to 15000 per month household income category right and 10% people are 15000 to 50000 salary category right so that 5 to 15000 the you know um, watchman your security guard your low wage uh, uh, earner daily wage earner basically right. all of these guys fall into that bucket mm-hmm. and the reality is that they will not take anything beyond what is really really required so right. if they if they call you and they say hey mere ko ye pad chahiye so then they are saying ki yaar aap mujhe do goli de do pehle bas right ab do goli mein main theek ho jaunga hmm aap mujhe pura course mat do 15 din ka aap mujhe do goli de do right ab do goli mein theek nahi hua to fir wo ja ke char goli aur lega right but it is very piecemeal and they, you can't solve it online and right. what we realized we tried to solve it we did all the work that can be done mm-hmm. and what we realized is that a it's micro payment and b right. is physical shipment involved and it's just not going to happen online right um and the way to think about it is that if the cost per per servicing of that customer was zero then you could do it right but cost per servicing is not zero Mm-hmm. because uh, you have doctor consultation to pay for right um and then you have medicine shipment uh, to do uh, where the shipping charges are more sometimes more than the cost of the medicine so right. it's not zero so uh, the other part group which is 15 to 50k right uh, these guys are aspirational they are very value conscious but they are ready to pay for improvement um in their life mm-hmm. um and it could be any number of things right okay. um so these guys are ready to pay and you have to figure out a way to build products around this particular uh category a group uh, right. per se um and hope uh, and get, get a uh, right conversion rate right. it is going to be assisted telesale model mm-hmm. so you have to uh, build your products accordingly mm-hmm. uh, but it cannot work on the uh, 5 to 15k uh, price bracket salary bracket the other uh, way to look at it is who gets uh, treated who gets the treatment when right, right? um and it was very stark when we went to villages doing camps we realized that uh, although we have heard of it we have never seen in reality right mm-hmm. so women they have diabetes they have pcod they have all the other issues that you can think of mm-hmm. but they don't get any treatment kids right. they don't get any treatment old people they don't get any treatment except for something to reduce huge pain or anything right uh, only one that gets treatment is the male member young male member who is earning mm-hmm. and whose day whose daily earning will be impacted if they don't right. um, get themselves treated right uh, 
so we basically spend time looking at various cohorts or when we're looking at where we can build treatment packages where these people will pay for right so in case of women when they're about to get married people will pay for certain types of issues to be taken care of Interesting. skin hair etc right, right? Um, in case of male uh, there are certain issues that they will also pay for right. uh, it could be joint pain it could be piles uh, in the you know 40 45 age category it could right. be sexual issues it could be um, a number of related issues right. um, around that um, so that's why uh, we built a lot of other products which were on the higher age category right um, chronic cases like diabetes this that doesn't work in that particular age group particular demographic because you're not doing discovery online whether they right. have diabetes so they have already discovered they have diabetes they're taking that one goli uh, every day and right. if they take a if they take a laddu then they take two goli's that day right. and that's pretty much it so they're right. not going to do- go back to doctors to either reverse to diabetes or course correct on that right. particular part um so uh, you have to uh, focus on the people who are making 15 to 50k right uh, you cannot get dragged down to by the noise mm-hmm. ki mujhe do goli chahiye panch goli chahiye bhai ye dosage hai right. ye proper is case ke liye ye aapko leni hai mm-hmm. um ab wo apne aap jo karna hai chahe kare but as a company we can't get into ki bhai tujhe do goli de de char goli de de right. it doesn't work for from a company perspective mm-hmm. um number 2 focused very much focused on diagnosis where they are ready to pay for right um uh, so that you can actually make money uh, on the transaction mm-hmm. interesting are the, you know there are two very significant issues right when you especially talk about bharat right i mean of course one is low savings rate right and i think which is a very key determinant and i think you kind of substantiate that by saying that you know only the male member in the household is getting treated right uh, others are essentially you know issues are being pushed and being deferred and you know possibly uh not even recognized on 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 many occasions right i think you know before i ask the other you know complexities which are involved in that you know operating at that layer right how difficult is a challenge to evangelize you know the seriousness of getting treatment right uh, and i'm sure it must be extremely cumbersome right given that you're dealing with so much of pain and how much of apathy around right it must be very very difficult right uh, how do you deal with that i mean how are you of course on one side you've created that content right but there is a certain nudge and a push is just required for them to understand the seriousness around it right i mean how difficult is that in an environment like the one you operate right where you you kind of venture funded you know you are in a growth trajectory but it's also a very important responsibility right uh, i mean how do you balance so, so there are two things uh, we do and one we have kind of shut our shop on and the second sure. we are continuing to do so one of it is that you know we basically track everything on a platform and right. then we have a uh, nudges or journeys uh, planned around each of the diagnoses where you know once the consumer consumes that particular content we send relevant messages saying oh, what happens in this disease what are the uh, how do you what are the treatment options available mm-hmm. what do you do if what happens if you don't treat it what are the side effects what are the possible outcomes if you don't treat it for long right and that kind of content which is done by video in video format and we send them uh, bite size content across you know um, a month or so so right. that we can get them to consult on our platform right now the other thing that we tried i was mentioning earlier with the lab side where we had done uh, certain collection centers in deeper parts of india uh, there we wanted to create these uh, smaller hubs where mm-hmm. we could create information uh, right. you know pools and people can go and get that information from these uh, hubs um, doesn't work very hard i think you know one thing that we learned is that you know it's easier to say that i'm going to go to tier 2 tier 3 india it's very the moment you step it in that world on a physical level it's very very hard you know right. when you think about distribution of medicine or distribution of any information the villages are like you know 20 kilometers apart from each other right um and in each village you'll get 10 customer 20 customer right. you'll never be able to make your math work right and ultimately uh, you know we are in healthcare the we want to solve for it but 
at the end of the day, we want to make sure it is done in a in a in a way that makes economic sense because we don't want to you know die trying, and then it's actually a much bigger harm for right. the ecosystem versus you know doing things that work. Right. So we have tried going down to that level and imparting information and educating people. I think it is best left for uh, our tax tax money to do that. Right. Um, um, Asha workers and NGOs and all that. Right. Um, I think from a company perspective, we have uh, gone, come back and we are stuck to the digital means right. of content distribution and educating them and nudging them. I think it, you know, when we look at the interaction rate, when we look at the feedback, we look at the testimonials we receive from the users, right. um, we believe we are making much larger impact compared to going physically. Because if you think physically, a team will go to a village, spend the entire day, maybe meet 20 people, right? right? You, you are online, you create a content, you look at the people that are coming on a particular page of your website, that's mm-hmm. like 5,000 people, right? right? And those 5,000 people are getting educated via an SMS, a series of SMS right. and WhatsApp messages, which is far more impactful for us compared to doing things physically. So. I, for one, um, was thinking physical a year and a half earlier. Right. And now I think it's um, not that advisable to do things physically. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of partners around, maybe build an ecosystem with those partners who are already there. But for us, we just stick to what we are very, very good at, right. which is right. awesome content, um, awesome digital marketing so that we can spread the awareness of that content across the board, right. get the consultation done so that they can talk to the most awesome doctor ever, right. you know, they can, and get them a prescription that actually works, get their, them treated. And if the medicine is not available, then fulfill that medicine availability right. by our partners. So that's where we are defining our, you know, uh, battleground <laughs> versus no, going I, know, I know i know it's a, it's a very difficult one right i think no like a, you know i think i think no clear answers right when it comes to india right i think we're still a market which is you know kind of picking up on on a lot of tech consumption i think we're still establishing a base right and i think uh, there are yeah. no clear answers but you know Rajal, that was an interesting conversation right and and i was actually talking to a fintech entrepreneur right um and uh, you know interestingly in that conversation one thing that came to right while I mean, everybody's raving about, say, for example, fintech, right? Uh, what he very candidly accepted was the need to be on the ground. He said, you know, irrespective of whatever we win, right, uh, in an urban market setting, right, as you want to go down deeper into Bharat, into tier two, tier three India, you will have to support it by physical mechanics. I mean, I understand what your challenges are, right? But, you know, what do you do with the trust, right? Is essentially what they also feel, right? Um, and is also very, very critical in the environment that you operate in, right? Trust is essentially when you touch and feel, right? And given that we have, we have a very low education base, right? You know, seeing is believing, right? And then that's where the trust comes from. And, and here you are, you're choosing, and of course, uh, for, uh, you know, mathematical commercial reasons, right? Um, and these are not viable options in the current setting, right? But how do you solve for that trust? I mean, you know, an SMS can only do so much, right? Uh, it just becomes... So- how do you Sorry. Yeah. So uh, I think there are two, again, two parts of it. So one, the way we have solved for trust is getting the you know top dogs of that particular speciality on the platform. Right. right? Uh, so the biggest use case, what happens is that our customer goes to the quack or a local doctor and says, I have studied this and the doctor will say, I have studied treatment kara le. Right. So, but but then he goes to my upchar and let's say he's an ortho and he sees the top dog of the ortho, the one just right. uh, ki wo khud hai, talking about how that treatment is done. Right. And he shuts up, right? He says, can I content to say, yeah, mm-hmm. right? Uh, or he goes, he's a cardio or is a GP who's treating a cardio patient right. and he sees uh, the head of Medanta's cardio department talking on the platform. Right. And he's like, Okay, I have to listen. Right. So I think that's one critical part that we have solved for, which is really top dogs of the industry right. to be on the platform. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second part, you know, um, I felt the same way 
Right. But I think we have to think more in terms of partnerships, mm -hmm. right? So um, it's not important for, uh, I'll put it, I'll change the answer, restate that. Sure. You can do that if the ticket size is higher. Okay. Like if your car is 24 and the ticket size is 3 lakh rupees or 5 right. lakh rupees, yes, you have to be physically present. Mm -hmm. Right. If I'm conducting a surgery, right. right, then I have to have a physical presence sure. um, in that particular area. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot just let me keep a mirai partner because I have to make sure the experience is good. Mm -hmm. uh, but when it comes to low ticket sizes, right, mm -hmm. you have to find partners or you have to do it completely online. Right. Uh, the moment you uh, get into having your own points, point. right? right? It's it's a very different world. A right. very, very different world. And FinTech is different because, you know, uh, the NDFC has the money, he's lend, they are lending, right. uh, they, are, they underwrite the patient and they have to do the recovery. Right. It's fairly straightforward from at least my perspective, right? Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes to healthcare, you know, uh, if you do physical, I think it's actually, unless you're doing large ticket sizes, actually uh, works negatively for you. Right. Um, because you will have to work with the doctor. Right. Now, what are you going to do physically? You, you'll establish your clinic. Right. Um, you'll set up a doctor. Mm -hmm. Any experienced doctor with your, his own practice will not come. So a younger doctor will come. The moment his practice gets established, he'll open another clinic right in front. Right. And say, hey, patient to sare mere hai. Right. Main aapko percent kyun right. And there are a lot of these models that are out there that are doing everything for the doctor and not charging a single penny. Right. Right. Um, and then they're trying to make money on the medicine and lab side. And right. even there, they're giving commissions to the doctors. And the moment the doctor realizes that I lab ka karke 35% ki 40% le sakta hon, he will chuck them out. Right. right. Now, what is the other option then? you will open your pharmacy chains. Right. Um, except for Apollo Pharmacy, which is also in, uh, you know, top cities right. majorly, uh, there's a lot of leakage. A right. lot of leakage. Like, uh, that's why, it's, at least in North India, nothing has worked, except right. for Apollo Pharmacy. Right. South, there are two pharmacy chains, right. Med, Med Plus and, uh, uh, you know, this uh, Wellness Forever and all that. Right. But it doesn't work. Now comes to lab, right? Uh, lab, I think, can work, but it has to be uh, more like, a, you know, you're generating demand online. Right. And then you are enabling that, which basically makes it a B2B lab, right. not a B2C lab, right? Uh, and if you're going to make a B2C lab, why do you want to make a B2C lab in 2021? Mm -hmm. There is uh, SRL, there is uh, Cairo Care, there is... Uh, um, you know, lal. There, there are like five hundred labs. There are five hundred labs in UP in Lucknow alone. Right, right. So, why not we partner with them? There is unused capacity across the board. Right. Versus trying to do it your do it on your own. So, you know, uh, I've, uh, in the last four and a half years, we have thought and spend time <laughs> across <laughs> everything. And we right. said, how yeah, can this Let's do it. Right. And then we went down the drain and, uh, and figured out that, you know, these are the 15 challenges. And right. why is there that there is no uh, clinic chain in India? And Max and Apollo and everybody else, like there have been 15 different attempts at it. And nobody right. has it. Why is that the case? Right. And when you ask, start asking those questions, you realize that healthcare is incredibly complex. Right. And there's an ecosystem at every nook and corner, which is fairly well established. Right. And you cannot just come in and break it. You have right. to spend a lot of time and energy doing that. And if you're thinking about spending that time and energy, you better be, you know, funded like pharmacy is today. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like with a few billion dollars in your pocket and saying, yeah, let's do it uh, in these three states. Um, right. It's not even <laughs> national. Let's do it in three states. I think there's still models that will come up. Um, right. There are there are potential if you go 
spatiality wise right um, the by doing a very deep deep uh, uh, soup to nut integration right but, uh, there are quite a lot of challenges that we have to look at from a healthcare perspective interesting right you know another question that i have right essentially is, is in continuation is an offshoot of of what we discussed right the trust issue right and trust issue also has a manifestation in in inhibition to pay right uh this scared to pay right uh, and and like i said right you know what you're going to get uh, you know how how you know i mean it's a combination of like a bunch of things right one is of course uh, you know level of their uh, you know engagement with technology as such right second is low level of education third is role savings base right uh fourth becomes the trust issue right it's it's a fairly complicated right right i mean you know it's been a difficult one to move right uh, not many people have been able to move the needle on that one right which is taking away the inhibition to pay right uh, uh, you know and and so i think i think the, the, i think in healthcare uh, it's a little different so there is a lack of payment problem there is a proper payment issue but you know if you go to tier 2 tier 3 level most of the people are not paying for consult they are paying right. for the medicine so doctors don't charge for consult they charge okay. for medicine very interesting okay so um, and if things go bad they're going to a sarkari hospital again they don't get uh, charged for consult right uh, they pay for medicine kyunki medicine clinic mein uh, dispensary mein available nahi hai so they have to right. go out and buy medicine right so um, when you think of it and trust is not i will i will caveat it that you know not all doctors are same uh, but what happened during this covid is that before doctors will say ki mere paas aaoge nahi to main dekhunga nahi main dawai nahi de sakta right during the covid right. same doctors came online and said ki ptm kar do 500 rupya right aur main tumhare ko online video pe bata do video dekh ke main bata deta hu right now the patient the saying कि सर मुझे गांव से जिले आने पड़ेगा जिले के जो टाउन है उस पर आना पड़ेगा सीतापुर right. आना पड़ेगा right. आप मुझे ऑनलाइन ही बता दो राइट right. सेंग कि मैं नहीं बता सकता आपको आना पड़ेगा ठीक uh-huh. है मैं क्या ऑनलाइन ही करता रहूंगा <laughs> आप चैलेंज फ्रॉम अ पेशेंट परसपेक्टिव ही सेंग आई हैव टू स्पेंड थ्री आवर्स गेटिंग टू दैट टू सीतापुर टू मीट द डॉक्टर एंड हिल प्रिस्क्राइब फोर्टीन हंड्रेड रुपी का टेस्ट Right. Um, and he'll tell me this, you know, medicine, which I'll have to buy at the local chemist and have to do the test at the guy phlebotomist sitting in this clinic. Right. Ah, so my outlay, which is four or five thousand rupees, will be for this treatment. Right. Ah, compared to when doctor said the first drug, so three hundred rupees is okay. Right. Three hundred rupees is okay. Right. So, ah. Uh, Uh, but doctors, uh, from a doctor perspective, uh, consultation fee is just one third of the revenue. Right. Right. So not I'm I'm going to uh, qualify that not all doctors are like. A lot of doctors are doing really really good job. Right. Um, also, um, in a lot of cases, it's necessary to do those tests. Right. Mm-hmm. So sometimes doctors are prescribing medicine just for, um, you know, getting some relief at that time and then right. do the proper treatment later. But challenge is that patient doesn't think it that way. Mm-hmm. Patient is saying that my to 500 rupees was fine. Now I have to pay 4-5000 rupees, and I have to go with it. So um, I think COVID, in a way, helped online companies because right. patient psyche changed. Right. And patient saying that if I have to pay 500 rupees, then they take my upchar, and they are doing it for 200 rupees. Right. And they are doing it for 200 rupees. पर्चा दे देंगे फिर हम कहीं से भी ले लेंगे दवाई <laughs> तो ये तो कुछ कहीं से कि कहा right. कहीं से लेनी दवाई वहां से ले ली दवाई right. तो आई थिंक दैट काइंड ऑफ चेंज्ड ड्यूरिंग कोविड सो ट्रस्ट आई डू थिंक फिजिकल प्रेजेंस एड्स राइट बट यू हैव टू फाइंड पार्टनर्स यू हैव टू कमिट टू योर सेल्फ फाइंडिंग पार्टनर्स इट्स इजियर राउट Uh, not capitalist capital efficient route it's easier route to build your own soup to nut um, chain right ki meri clinic bhi hai meri lab bhi hai mera sab kuch hai um and it's a harder journey to actually find the right partners and get them to deliver what right. you're looking for on the parameters that you're looking for but if you want to do pan india at a tier 2 tier 3 level you have to find partners very interesting Uh, you know you mentioned something about you know uh, you know doing a 200 rupee consultation right uh, you know i mean and and you know that that and i want to very briefly touch upon the commercial aspects right 
are you discounting this engagement right to create that behavioral change right are you discounting it to a certain extent saying that you know if you go otherwise it will be like a 500 rupee or a you know 700 rupee transaction you know here you sort of can do it in 150 rupees 200 rupees or whatever right i mean is there something of that sort that you have you kind of is that an acquisition strategy is that a, is that a behavioral change strategy that you kind of uh, bring uh, at work yeah so you know we tried number of things we tried anything from 9 rupee to 500 rupee <laughs> for um, a doctor consultation and right. uh, we gave it out for free for you know two years uh, right. completely and our realization was that you know you have to keep it paid for customers to value it mm-hmm. uh, if you keep it free um, a the quality you are it's hard to maintain the quality you like right. at peak we were doing a million consult a month right right during covid Uh, and it's very hard to control the ecosystem with million consults like how right. many people are going to review the consultation quality right. doctors yeah. are start to misbehave patients right. start to misbehave um so you have to whatever you do you have to do a plus right and for that a plus you charge money and you provide make sure the few doctors extremely trained for con- tele consultation and they provide that mm-hmm. um so uh, the way we have thought of it is that 200 rupees is unlimited for a month right uh, just not just for one consult right But because what we found was the behavior is ki consult lete hain then they want to they have follow up questions that they right. want to do ki ye khana hai ye nahi khana hai uh, ya dawai se pet mein dard ho raha hai right. ya kuch side effect ho raha hai um, then they want to consult after a week or two ki theek ho gaya lekin ab all do ya na lo right uh, but the, the moment you put it 200 rupees for one consult or 50 rupees for one consult the follow up goes away right by doing 200 for <laughs> unlimited that follow up right. remains they get a, they actually get a better treatment right right they're able to talk to the doctor three four times and get right. a complete uh, treatment done um so from a it's more from you know uh i won't say that it's a customer acquisition strategy or any of that customer acquisition to waise hi organically ho raha hai right um it's more of how do we make them taste um make them experience a Correct. quality consultation exp- quality consultation so right. that they change the behavior mm-hmm. um and we felt um when we were doing at a larger scale right. that we are not giving them a plus experience Right, and if you are not giving them a plus experience, why will they come online? So mm-hmm. one of the one of the responsibility we have is to convert them online. Right, right. Interesting, Rajat. Right. You know, you know, you highlighted, you know, you alluded to to one of the points, right, uh, early on in the conversation, and that was essentially that uh, you know you're choosing to do it for certain category of uh, you know diseases and uh, and problems that people are facing, right, uh, at that level. and then of course the acute ones you're possibly just enabling them to content and you're not really sort of uh, you know you're not really touching them in a service format right yeah. um now you know with some of the bits and pieces right for example say if it's skin care diabetes hair loss you know sexual wellness and so forth right these are not extremely i mean these are important issues but this are this is not leading these are not compulsive issues right uh, you know you still have a little bit of a time you know you want to do your research possibly engage with content and so on and so forth right and to fill this gap and to get to transaction which is i think which is very very critical uh, i think for any business right uh, from from the journey of starting to engage with content to commerce right uh, you need to create a layer with where you can create a nudge right uh, one format of it is to sort of do it over an app right where you sending the notifications or you sending them sms second becomes a call center like play right uh, i think one thing which is common constant i think across i think each industry in india uh you know which is which is trying to sell is to create a layer of call center right uh, that chase is very very important right my question to you is that you know quality tends to suffer when you sort of you know you have a very large base of call center agents you know chasing people right how do you manage that it just is an extremely difficult operation right and and you know also on a scale standpoint it's an extremely challenging um uh, you know problem right uh, it just is too much of a weight to to run at the speed that you would want to as a founder right what are your thoughts about that um uh, i completely agree with you but it's it's a pill that you have to swallow and right. you know um because in india you cannot 
get the transaction going, right. uh, especially in tier two, tier three, mm -hmm. without an assisted approach. Right. Now, there, there are different types of assisted approach that is being experimented in mm -hmm. India today. Right. Uh, one is, uh, you know, bulbul type um, video assisted sales where, you know, someone with some kind of reputation is talking um, about your product and you're selling it. It's like a micro influencer kind right. of a sale. Um, it works really well when the products are not super critical. Like right. in our case, you know, doctors are not going to be selling any product. They're right. going to treat and mm -hmm. advise. They're not going to be selling any product. Right. It's a softer thing for us, right? Um, so, and you cannot have anybody else sell these products, right? right. So um, you can't have uh, Pammi Auntie sell, uh, <laughs> you, know, um, you know, treatment for diabetes, right? right? You, you can't do that. You, you have to have um, some authority figure who has medical experience, right. who has shown in past 10 years that they can actually treat a patient, sell this product. Right. Um, so that's, that's one assistant model that people are trying. The second model is more of an agent driven model, right? right? Um, and in that case also, it's easier to sell more standardized products, which is right. insurance, which is, you know, uh, medicine uh, where you have chemists right, right. but you uh, but there are regulatory issues around all of that so you right. you need to have a light idi license to become an agent you need to have a drug license to become a chemist plus right. a degree and all that so it's right. not an open field as such right um, third comes to telesales right. um, which i feel is a little bit better controlled compared right. to uh, other forms of marketing Right. Uh, assisted sales uh, channels. So uh, you are training them, you're listening, you, uh, all calls are recorded, you're able to listen to them. If anyone goes out of the script, out of the prescribed things to say, prescribed things to not say, uh, then you can take actions, action on them. Right. So um, in an ideal world, you don't have to do all of that and people come online, they discover your product and then they buy. Mm -hmm. um, which is sort of started to happen in tier one uh, right. for medium ticket sizes, not like Vedantu type companies still have, you know, 2,500 telesales people selling yeah. their uh, 33,000 property product. Um, but for mid-sized things, you know, you're going online and buying on your own in tier one. Tier two, tier three is still a far, uh, far cry. I think it will happen. It's just that it's not happening today. It's not right. going to happen in the next 24 months. So, um, Telesales seems to be the best option available. And I agree with all the challenges you have said. Right. I deal with them on a daily basis. <laughs> right. I sit in the room. Uh, I listen to what people, what our uh, healthcare advisors are uh, saying. I right. ghost call, listen to ghost calls. I do all kind of, uh, all kind of things. And I look at numbers, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know, you get new people, they make mistakes, you have to rectify them quickly, you have to send them for retraining, because right. it's healthcare, you cannot afford that to happen. Right. Um, so, we're, you know, uh, I understand what you're saying, but it's just uh, the way it is for now. Interesting, interesting. Right. You know, we're going to keep it short, right? But it was the end of the conversation, right? Uh, COVID surprised us all, right? I mean, none of us were prepared for it. I think our healthcare infrastructure was not prepared for it. And specifically in Bharat, I think, you know, it was completely, I mean, for a, for a lack of a better word, sham, in shambles, right? Uh, right? We didn't have the right resources. You know, how has, of course, you know, in an urban market setting, it's a very different sensitivity that is that is brought in, right? Uh, you know, we've become more conscious of our health. We're taking care of, you know, better of ourselves. You know, our construct has changed, right? Uh, so, for example, work from home has become so much more relevant, right? Which essentially means that the stress is going to be lesser, right? Uh, While well, of course other stresses build up, but uh, you know, what, <laughs> but what what do you what do you see and how do you visualize uh, what are you experiencing right uh, in in a in a in a Bharat like setting right uh, how has it changed the behavior are people become have people also started to take their health seriously uh, with all the challenges that exist right uh, I mean what's the shift that uh, that has happened right and and you think is going to go on to 
uh, you know, possibly become a foundation for institutionalized healthcare within, say, tier two and downwards in there? Well, I think uh, a lot of people. Um, before COVID were saying, um, when they think of insurance, when they think of, you know, all the other products, sure. they were saying, mere saath nahi hoga. <laughs> Kisi ke saath hoga, mere saath nahi hoga. But right. certainly that awareness has come where, right. you know, they've seen nearby, near and dear, got into the trouble, uh, getting into all kinds of issues. Now, um, they have become aware of the teleconsultation concept. Um, even by their local doctors. They have looked at uh, online uh, medicine fulfillment option because they didn't want to step out and all that. So quite a lot has changed in Bharat. Right. Work from home is very much a tier one concept and that too in IT sector, mm-hmm. right? Um, outside, if you look in Delhi today and get out of your home, mm-hmm. um, 90% of the, 95% of the traffic is on board. Right. Mm-hmm. Offices are open, they're fully functional. Right. It's happening in, even in tier one. Right. It's just engineers and techies are claiming that this is the new world and uh, they're all on LinkedIn, they're all claiming that, but rest right. of the world, they need to get out, they need to make their living. So work from home is not a common concept in Bharat. Right. Um, so those issues are not there, uh, but people have become aware. People are looking for options, it's just, right. We as a company have to provide those right options for the people. Right. Um, for us also, we have gone through a lot of ups and downs during the right. last one and a half year. Um, and we found the sweet spots that work really well mm-hmm. um, for us. We found the uh, issues, you know, that we realized that will never work for bed well for us, maybe because of the company DNA, maybe because of the dynamics of the industry. And we have also focused on that. So teleconsult, the conversion rates used to be less than 0.1% right. um, for a paid product. We tried all of it, you know, two years back. Right. And it has at least moved from 0.1 to, you know, 1 to 2%. Right. It's not 10%, but <laughs> it's still, it has still grown from, you know, literally that. Uh, we like it to be in 5 6% range, which right. where it starts to make sense from a from business perspective. Right. Um, but so things have changed. People are ready to pay online mm-hmm. as long as they are going to get service. So I think things have moved in the positive direction. You are seeing a um, lot of movement with uh, companies that are treating diabetes right. uh, specifically, that are treating weight loss specifically, all kinds of issues, lifestyle issues and that exist. And sooner or later, you know, tier two, tier three people are going to adopt to all of that because they're also going to be doing similar kinds of jobs and similar right. kind of issues will come to them. And it's going to the same story repeating think, there as well. And I think also the information, I, I think the exposure arbitrage that existed between certain markets, I think has kind of come down, right? Uh, I think with, with, with what we've seen, right? Uh, Rajat, you know, I want to, how I want to discuss, uh, you know, so much more with you, right? And especially the new emerging models like Christine and a bunch of others, right? which are not necessarily very physical infrastructure heavy. And I think something that, that you also mentioned in your conversation, saying that, you know, if you have to solve for India, you'll have to create a digital distribution play, right? I mean, you cannot really solve it. Uh, you know, by creating infrastructure, you can possibly, you'll have to use existing infrastructure by, you know, building the right kind of partnerships, having the right orientation and so on and so forth, right? Uh, but I think I'm going to reserve that for our next conversation, right? And 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 hopefully we're going to have it soon. But you know, you've moved into insurance, right? And and that's that's essentially our last conversation uh, for for uh, that's that's our last question for the conversation today. Uh, you know, you have launched Team Plus, right? Uh, as part of the product suit, uh, right? Uh, tell me a little more about that. You know, what's the intent behind that, and what are the next two years like for my Upchar, right? What are some of the points that you're looking at, right? Uh, from a traffic standpoint, from a conversion standpoint, right? From an engagement standpoint, what are what is the aspiration there? Aspiration is fairly straightforward. Aspiration is um, two parts. One, how can we solve for that user in a meaningful way? So Mm -hmm. when we designed the product, the thought process was um, we we need to provide something of immediate value to him because that's the number one complaint. Mm -hmm. So we said, okay, we'll bake in teleopd so that people can have free access to a doctor consultation right. um, as part of this product. Uh, number two, we said, 
you know there are a lot of these you know machhar kaat lega to uske liye insurance vector bond insurance and right. all kinds of hospi cash products right and the problem was how do you educate these people about these specific products right uh, and we realize it's very uh, it's a very hard journey it doesn't really solve the problem right the problem there is that when they go to the city if they are in serious issue of course i can't bring a hospital to a tier 3 city right right by right mein hospital ke nahi bata sakta but who is going to come from bahraich to lucknow right right and he should know that these are three hospitals where he doesn't have to spend a dime to get treated right so that the entire quack the quality right. everything goes away right so that was the basic thesis of the how we designed the product and of right. course the market is completely um free complete white space right. 95% of insurance 94.5% insurance has insurance sold in tier 1 right and 50% of that is corporate driven uh, so retail is 50 corporate is 50 so right. uh, and 10 crore people live in your tier 1 and 120 ish crore people live in the rest of the country so right. the market is huge uh, what do we want to do with it so of course we want to provide this basic service how do right. we up it we feel you know people want to talk to the top oncologists right, right. we will bring those top oncologists as part of the platform that you want to talk to that top oncologist who has right. been specialized in this one particular theory um, be part of this and we will bring that to you right, right. you can book a physical appointment you can listen to his videos you can listen to that content not everybody will be interested but anybody who has uh, interest in oncology cancer right. is suffering from it will want to talk to that particular doctor right can we partner with ecosystem players whether it's gyms or swimming pools or whenever these swimming pools are going to open i guess but <laughs> the, who ever all these people are right. right and get them an option that they can partner with these they can go to these people get some kind of free options can get some kind of value added options so on and so forth so you know once you have this model going that you have a geographically concentrated enough number of people um then you can layer a lots and lots of services with partners right right uh, so that he gets more and more value out of it um well i am happy to partner with a air um, you know helicopter ambulance and send it to his gaon and pick him <laughs> up and bring him to vedanta right. of course you know he has to pay for it which is a right. different issue um <laughs> because insurance is not going to cover it but right. we we'll love to do that right uh, why not if he is part of our plan he should be able to get to all those services right if he is able to afford right now you don't even know where to get those services right, right? so um if he wants a oxygen cylinder um why can't we uh, he be part of our membership plan and get that right, right. maybe ship from one of our partners warehouses uh okay. but get get all those things to him so that's the thought process ki why how can we up the nt on you know health insurance product as such Right. and our bima plus is like roughly 15% cheaper even mm-hmm. with all these features included very interesting right so uh, i believe you know there is a huge huge value that can be added and created in the system insurance in any way is kind of uh, archaic um in terms of how it works and it operates so i believe there is a lot of value to be created there uh, especially in bharat sir very interesting you know rajat how i want this conversation to go on right and and specifically like i said right i mean i want to i want to so discuss those the new world models which are coming up right and and particularly the insurance play right because i was recently in a conversation right which was specifically around insurance and you know and we were really talking about the new world underwriting concept right uh you know and and while of course you know for an urban india it's a very you know they're very visible parameters right uh, you know they're very defined parameters and you know it's not necessarily a newer model that you have to create right but you know when it when it comes to bharat right there is completely you know risk has to be defined in a very different way right and this is still an audience which doesn't necessarily has the kind of footprint required to assess the risks that are associated uh, you know with them around them right and there's a little digital footprint, right? uh but like i said you know i am going to look uh, you know i'm going to cover a lot of that in our in our you know uh, upcoming conversations and i'm going to reserve these questions for that 
Raja, thank you so much for taking the time. I love the conversation, you know, and and you know, thank you so much for, you know, helping us get an insight into Bharat because you know there is uh, there are not many businesses. I mean, there are there are many many businesses which are solving for their unique problem, right? Uh, you know, but you don't necessarily get a view in terms of the ability of people at the uh, in that region to to pay, right? Uh, and I think it's a it's a it's a fairly complicated space which needs to be understood well because if we do that right, I think. Uh, it's going to add to a very different kind of a consumption uh, appetite to the uh, to the overall play that we have, right? So thank you so much. It was it was lovely to have you with us. Thanks for having me, Ashwin. Lovely talking to you. Thanks a lot.